We just heard a view of the Iraq rebuilding from a guest from the Defense Department in Baghdad. Your next guest, a bit more skeptical of the progress of the reconstruction in Iraq, Brian Katulis is a senior fellow at the Center for American Progress. He says the lack of security threatens rebuilding efforts. They are a left-leaning think tank headed by John Podesta, former chief of staff under President Bill Clinton. Brian Katulis joins us now from our Washington studio. Brian, I know that you heard the interview with Paul Brinkley there before saying restore economic hope. Do you think that is a possibility this year? or Do you think that right now the infrastructure simply does not exist to establish any kind of a real economy, at least in Baghdad, for a year plus? I'm really skeptical that they're going to see any returns on their investments this year. And the thing that worries me about what the previous guest said was it sounded like a lot of things that were said in 2003 and in 2004 and 2005. And I'm really worried here we are more than four years into this war and we're still trying to get some basic fundamentals correct. And we're doing it in a context where there's a very vicious civil war. And that instability, that violence is the thing that holds back a lot of the economic reconstruction projects. We've got four million four million Iraqis who have been displaced from their home because of this violence and it's hard to actually figure out how any of these projects can 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 uh, ha have any roots well, and doesn't the answer lie in civil I mean with the people basically isn't it up to the Iraqi people to step up to the plate here and start rebuilding and start tending to some of the infrastructure that we've paid for well, that's the thing. I think you hit the nail on the head there, and I think the, the Bush policy on Iraq has been fostering moral hazard uh, among Iraqis. You look at the Iraqi government last year, they didn't spend a third of their own money out of their own budget, in part because of sectarian differences and political differences and squabbles. And that's a big part of the problem. You know, Americans have spent half a trillion dollars on this venture, and a lot of the basic services are still below pre-war level. Electricity, oil production, and a whole host of other things. And a big part of that is because the Iraqi society itself is divided. And I worry that these reconstruction projects, though important, put the car cart before the horse, in a sense, that you need to have a political settlement, settlement among Iraq's leaders before you do these other things. See, I would argue, I would disagree. I would say that you have to have an economy and that if people have jobs and if they're working, then they will have less time to cause trouble. Yeah, that's right. But at, at this point, um, the U.S. and its efforts, I think, are a little too little and a little too late. We've spent double what was spent um, in, in Japan, in the reconstruction of Japan, and, and, and about the same in, in, in Germany after World War II, and the results haven't been uh, anywhere near the success that we saw after World War II. And at this point, you know, I think the Iraqis have got to step up to the plate, settle their political differences, and actually get these factories going. You know, when do you think we can establish a real time? I mean, listen, you know, you can't really compare it to Europe because Europe had more of an infrastructure. I mean, this was a complete dismantling of a country that was fraying at the edges already because you hadn't had infrastructure investments in 20 or 30 years under Hussein. How long do you think this should take before we have, you know, real oil production and real megawatt generation capacity? Well, the, the missing link again is whether Iraq's political leaders settle their differences. And this is something that I'm not hopeful we're going to see uh, any resolution to with the Iraqi parliament planning to spend two months of a summer vacation. You, you need to settle the broad strategic questions, the questions of what is Iraq and whether we're going to hang together so you can have a legal framework and have some sort of sense of stability in the country. And I think the oil production, the electricity production won't actually improve until you get some sort of cons consensus and national recognition reconciliation among us leaders, something that we're not seeing right now. You know, that Inspector General report we referenced earlier was very critical. I mean, do you have to give some kudos to the, to the report to say, listen, we do still have work today to do, don't we? That's right. And it's the latest in a long series of reports that demonstrate the corruption, this management, things that haven't been corrected, and I don't think have even been corrected in the last couple of months. And this is part of the problem. A lot of the uh, the bureaucracies and the government uh, bureaucracies okay. working over there have mismanaged the situation. All right, Brian Catrula, Senior Fellow at the Center for American Progress. Brian, thank you very much for joining us. Great. Thanks for having me. All right, still ahead, we're going to break down the